Okay, let's continue. Um, to begin with, I want to select the collision sphere here and set this all the way down to 100 um, so that we don't have such a, a big uh, capsule. And I just want to make a quick test run through this uh, to see if I um, if I get all the the foliages activated as I uh, it would expect them to, and it seems to work okay. Um, now we're not getting things um, replaced back again, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing we're gonna do. So uh, um, on the event check we have uh, the second pin here. From the sequence previously the event tick here uh, which um, is responsible for pulling out the or replacing the foliage back again so if we copy that stuff um, and take a look at where we want to implement this um, so let's see we need to um, check pretty fast when we want to do this and right now um, the current previous implementation was doing this every tick um, and we assume that this array is going to be fairly small um, um, so I think it's not so bad to just for now dump it on the event tick as well so we have the event tick here I'm just going to get rid of that. So, um, from the event tick, right now we are just updating the location of ourselves to line up with our owner. And what we want to do afterwards is to um, check if we need to remove something. So, let's comment this a little bit. So. Uh, There. and this part is I'm not going to comment this right now but this is just the stuff that we made earlier I'm going to put this all the way down to let's say 200 it's very uh, it's a very short uh, distance but uh, I'm going to tell you why in a moment so as you can see it, it works and as you can see also we are not getting too many of these act active at any time and that's actually a, a pretty good um, thing we want to keep the number of, of these active uh, this number pretty low um, let's see um, mm -mm 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 -mm. There's one thing I actually want to change a little bit is the um, location right now. Uh, no, never mind, I'm not going to change it. But I, I'm a little bit bogged out by that. It's not touching the ground, but don't worry about it. Um, blah, blah. Um, so we are getting things removed again now, and that's uh, a good thing. So let's uh, do a quick cleanup here because we have some code in here that doesn't. Um, belong here anymore uh, so we copied everything here so just get rid of that stuff go away and like that and the sequence and we have the print string left so we have an empty event tick now on our character and we've actually just um, well we migrated the detection into a component hit uh, I'm not sure this is really more efficient to do a sweep I don't know how they implemented this uh, but I'm hoping it is um, and if not we could just move everything into the event tick again and keep working with the multisphere trace channel, uh, by channel. Um, but anyway uh, we want to have this inside a separate actor for some um, reason which I will explain in a moment so um, let's also uh, do something like print out our number of um, active blueprints so uh, let's make a sequence here and a 
this one. Okay. So that means that we are now having this number updated constantly, and we should probably get rid of that sphere hit. We know we're getting hit. <clears throat> this guy. Okay. Um, so I want to spend a little time in this video to see how we can improve uh, the look and feel of this because it's great that we can, if we just run around inside some ferns right, like this, it's all good. But if you travel, if you imagine that you're traveling, you can see that the ferns constantly are getting um, reset when I leave the influence area like this. And I actually talked a little bit about this um, already. So um, the thing is, um, we don't want to um, just plainly um, disable things uh, just based only based on the, the distance. Um, so I'm going to up this a little bit. Um, let's see what did I have in my test project. I actually have a pretty large value. I set it to 1000 and 1000 in, in, uh, in the setting is going to be keeping, as you can see, no, I actually have it to 1200, I think. Yeah, but as you can see, we can actually end up having quite a few of these uh, active. So I have um, 20. Three, three, and I'm not even close to be, um, yeah, to want to consider any of these. Um, so we want to add an extra logic to these. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is to say, okay, if something is, um, if we're not looking at it anymore, uh, then we really don't care about this. So I'm get, I can get away with this um, this implementation really because only because I am only considering um, a single player scenario. So if you are um, assuming that this is going to be something for multiplayer, you want to make some extra considerations to this, like how many players uh, are looking at this and so on. So um, the thing is, um, we well. Um, from this out, uh, for each loop, um, we will take, um, well, we have the, the, the direction that we are, are looking, uh, right now, uh, um, the direction from the, the foliage to us, we have that here. So if we uh, normalize this to begin with, it's going to create a normal vector. Um, and if you uh, have seen some of our other videos, you have seen me use the dot product for this. So we're going to use the, that to find the, um, the position of our... Um, no, um, well, the direction that we are looking. And the direction we are looking is actually... Um, um, it's only relevant if you are a player. Um, so if you're not a player, then you don't have, uh, you don't really care about this. So a quick and dirty way of doing this would be to introduce a cast here. And let's cast this to a character. Because the character has a controller and we can just use that. Okay. And that means that if my, uh, if uh, this collision, uh, this foliage sphere is owned by a player, that's essentially what we are saying here. Then um, we can drag out from this one and get the control rotation. Get the yeah, get control rotation. Okay, and I need more space. Right. That over a little bit. Make sure let's drag that up here and 
Okay, so from the control rotation, we can drag out again and say get forward vector. And the forward vector is giving us the, the direction that we are looking with the camera. So um, if we dot these two together, um, we're going to get uh, a value saying if uh, representing the angle between the, um, the camera and the direction to our foliage. So we can make uh, expand this check here to say, if, okay, so if you are outside this bound here, then uh, you definitely want to destroy um, or return to a static foliage. Um, but you also maybe want to do uh, this. If you um, only, let's say, um, Um, if the length of this, let me see, yeah, um, let's say 300, so but once we have, um, uh, they get a l just a little bit away from us, uh, we want to check this, make this check here. So um, we need to add some more space, god damn it. I need to clean this up later on. I will maybe do this in a separate video or maybe just do this off screen. Um, uh, off video I mean. So um, if this is, um, let's just say uh, less than zero for now. Um, and I hope I turned it the right way. Sometimes with these I can't really figure out which way they should go. But that's gonna give us something here. So let's see um, how many of these we get. So that's obviously not correct. It was the other way as I suspected. suspected. Okay, so switch these two, and let's see, if we run looking that direction, they are still being active as you can see, but if I run, um, run this direction, and I then turn around, we can see none of them are now active, and yeah, that means that we can get rid of them uh, faster, because we don't really care about them, they are behind us. So if I run uh, like this and I can see they are still in inside my viewport um, and I just make a quick turn and back again you can see most of the, uh, the foliage behind us is gone now uh, uh, reset and just two of them here which was um, you can see there they're actually also in, inside our viewport so if I had this and turned around I would see them switch if they were moving so this is a, a nice little trick to add if you want. Um, okay, and I think this concludes uh, this video. I will continue in the next, looking at how we can... Um, well, I haven't really decided what to do next. Let's uh, see what I come up with uh, in the next video. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.